Strategy number one, adapting to force changes. During times of crisis, we have thoughts and experiences that shape how we interpret it. Some of us experience just a minor inconvenience during the pandemic when we were locked down and told that we were safer at home. Others experienced a feeling of extreme isolation, depression, and a sense of loss of control. Some people experience firsthand the extremes of illness and death. Regardless of how we experienced it, there was an effect on each one of us. Our interpretation can influence how we approach fundraising and the decisions we made. Pastor David Dendy, who was one of the people I interviewed, said, our nonprofit's mission hasn't changed during this pandemic. The mission to help our youth prohibit sex trafficking, feed the hungry, or take care of the homeless is the same because those problems still exist. What has changed is the way we frame it. As a way to adapt to the changes, Dr. Mark Hardy gave this example. He said CNN news correspondents toured an animal shelter. Now, if you've toured an animal shelter, you know that your heart goes out to those animals. The tour guide said that an unprecedented number of people abandoned their cats and dogs. Can you imagine? During the pandemic, some even deserted their animals in their apartments or houses. The guide explained how the demand for space in the animal shelters had increased dramatically and they needed help. But here's what they did that was brilliant. Instead of asking people to adopt an animal, they asked people to foster more than one pet. It was a less permanent request to ask someone to foster by taking an animal for a short period of time rather than adopt and commit for the lifetime of the animal. We all know that once you fall in love with that dog or cat, you don't want to return it. The correspondents left with three animals between the two of them. The animal shelter didn't change their mission. They just reframed it. They didn't need to use a tactic like the commercials we've all seen of the sad, hungry animals chained to fences and shivering in the cold. Although I don't like watching those, it's a story that works and makes me aware that abandoned pets are a huge problem. I encourage one of my nonprofit clients to use this idea early in the pandemic. It was a new Colorado mountain town nonprofit and they were a savings and credit club. They worked to provide ways for the most vulnerable populations to save money, get financial literacy education, and receive low interest lo loans. However, when the ski industry shut down in mid-March and stay-at-home orders affected nearly every business, there was an immediate need for funding. We directed them to an organization that distributed emergency cash assistance to those without access to traditional public funding for help with the most critical needs of paying rent and medical expenses related to COVID-19. In just six weeks, we raised over $1.2 million that was distributed to nearly 1,200 families. That was more than 5,000 people. Successful nonprofits that can pivot to serve an urgent community need while staying within their stated mission are the most effective at adjusting to the changing environment. What might your nonprofit be able to do to adapt to the changes that have been forced upon us during this time?